Hi y'all, welcome back. I am home now. Uh, I slept really good last night, so I feel like I've caught up on what I wasn't able to get uh, when I was camping down in South Carolina. So it is a uh, sunny day here, about 73 or so today, very windy still. But tomorrow and the next several days are gonna be in the 80s and sunny. So I thought I would plan out some of my seedlings today. I've got um, <clears throat> some alyssum, sweet peas, some marigolds, and some basil to put out. And I'm gonna put them in a few these pots on the front porch. Uh, I was gonna try to do some cucumbers and I still might. I just might have to take the basket in a couple of the nights this week because I even, I think next Saturday night, Sunday night is gonna be down to like 42. And that's too cold for even my like tomatoes and peppers. But this week is supposed to be, um, well, this weekend starting Friday was supposed to be um, transplanting out all my peppers and that kind of thing so I might do a few of them or at least the ones that look like they're really you know they're outgrowing the cups that they're in so we're gonna try maybe a couple of dwarf tomato plants out here that way if it, it does get too cold I can move them inside the garage or something um, but I have everything outside on the back porch right now getting some Sun and <clears throat> I've already put a couple of things in these pots. So let's turn you around. So I already put the alyssum here in this big pot next to the um, mammoth dill. And that's doing really good. So I've got the alyssum here. This is just regular alyssum. I do have some dwarf alyssum that I'm gonna put, I think, in my green stock. I've got my one little sweetheart sweet pea in here and she's already sending out a couple of branches so I'll hang her back up as long as I don't cut her off with this chain there we go This hanging basket, I'm gonna do the Space Master cucumbers. It's just cold enough in the shade, I think. Oof. Right here, I've got the geranium kiss dwarf tomato that I'm gonna put in one of these pots. I've got some, uh, what is this? This is Everleaf basil and some key lime marigolds that I'm probably gonna put up here, or I might put the marigolds. I have a Cracker Jack mix of marigolds as well. I may split them up, put some up here and some back there in the back, so we'll see. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the cucumbers in here because it's gonna be so warm the next several days. Just at night, I might bring them in. might be a bad idea and I might regret it but um, I really want my cucumbers in I will get some more soil to put on top I'm just gonna get this guy Alright, 
there's that. I'm gonna put some soil in here. Oh, oops. Dwarf basil. Just broke that one off. These gloves are too big. That was really good. Hi right, guys, I am here out in the backyard. I have cleared out these three beds. Um, cleared out the old broccoli and cauliflower plants. I went ahead and put fresh compost on this bed. Put some worm castings on it. Just sprayed it with some uh, Neptune's Harvest fertilizer. I'm going to put some of this straw mulch down. I got, oh, you can see in there, I got a whole bag, this whole bag I got at our downtown seed store for free. Um, it was just scraps that had fallen off of, you know, as they're loading up hay bales and stuff, um, or straw bales, it's just whatever broke or fell out. So you could come load it up for free if you wanted, however much you wanted. So. I grabbed just a full bag of that Thursday, and if they have more, I might go back, but I may not need it. This full bag would be enough to mulch all of these beds, plus do some of these buckets if I need to, even though I have leaves in them for mulch. But I thought I could use that to help with moisture control, that kind of thing. So I'm going to put some of that down, and then we are going to plant out some peppers. up here without falling over.
Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, four Craig's Grande jalapenos. I've got one, two big gyms. One is still really small, so we'll see if he makes it or not. And then I've got two pumpkin spice jalapenos, which I'll put in this bed as well. And that might be all at the moment. What I have left are some not a pinos, banana pepper, lunchbox red, lunchbox orange, several shishito peppers, a couple of carmen peppers, and I think I got some Marconi peppers in the other tray over there. So we'll start with this and see. I'll end up fitting one more right here probably. Um, but planting peppers, um, they like to hold hands, so just think of how tall they get, how big they get. They like to be touching each other. Um, so the spacing I'm doing is about 12 inches or so, maybe a little less, eight to 12 inches. Um, I don't have all the room to work with, so I'm planning what I can in here. This is how close I did them last year, and the ones that I did get did fine. They were just a little stunted with um, the weather, so. We're gonna put those where they're at. I'm gonna put some eggplant. Let's go ahead and bring this eggplant. You can see it's already trying to grow a little. Ooh, there's a bug on here. Let's get you off, I don't know what you are. But I'm gonna end up putting my eggplant, at least one of them in this bucket. This is where I had some kale. I'm gonna do some eggplant in here with this thyme and see how that does. I think I have two eggplants. Plant, two eggplant plants. Yeah, this one. I might do, let's see, I have a long purple and I have black beauty. So I think these are both long purple. Yeah, I'm gonna do two long purple eggplants in here. They'll go right there. So um, I think I'm still gonna wait on my most of my tomatoes even though they're dying to be out of their cups and that's just because according to the calendar I'm not supposed to uh, transplant them out until the end of this coming week so I guess it really technically starts on Wednesday so I still have just a couple more days um, I'll probably do that throughout the week and I'll have to get some more buckets to put them in because they're gonna do better in these buckets than these raised beds um, just because they'll get really tall. And I can use bamboo sticks to kind of trellis them up a little bit. So we're just gonna do the peppers for now. I need to direct sow some chives. That is on the list to do today i'm probably going to do those in my green stock maybe a little bit in the uh, one of the veggie pods got my hori hori knife so i'm just going to start here
here we go. I got my Craig's Grande here. I've got another Craig's Grande. These two are Big Jim. And then these two are pumpkin spice jalapenos. So that's that. I'm going to put my eggplants right here. Which I may be able. Can I prop you up here? So those two are in. I went ahead and put some straw in this bucket since the leaves had all but degraded in here. So timeless. the time is looking really good. It did have some flowers on it uh, earlier today. And I went ahead and just plucked that piece off. Um, this time is still good. So, I have thoroughly been enjoying um, the smell of this lemon thyme. Yep. So, the mulch will help with water retention as well as temperature, kind of like an insulation. So, hopefully, this week of not freezing, but we're going to be at like high 40s, 50s, I think. Well, some 60s. I think it won't get 40s until the end of the week. So hopefully that'll be okay for these guys. So now I still have the leeks in this bed. So I'm going to keep those in. They're growing slowly. Let me see what I have in garden bed number two. All right, I had to get my hat because it was getting a little warm on my head, but um, I found one other big gym pepper that I put at the end of this bed. So this bed is full of peppers. Second bed, I had a third purple eggplant that I put in here. I've got two not a pino plant, pepper plants. Um, and I'm still trying to see what I'm going to put in the front of this bed. Maybe some flowers as well. And then over here, these are what's left 
of my pepper plants besides I think two really small lunchbox size ones and I think one shishito but these are what's left these are lunchbox shishito peppers and a couple banana peppers so they may go in here I may split them up in a grow bag maybe I'll do the lunchbox sizes in the grow bag and the shishitos in here with the carmen and the marconi peppers I think originally I had marked down that one or both of these buckets would be peppers, but I want them for my tomatoes and I haven't gone to buy more buckets yet. So, and that one has the asparagus in it. So I think I'm gonna leave these for the tomatoes and I have to put some more soil in this one, amend it, that kind of thing. Um, But, I think that's what I'm doing for the rest of the time, is just finishing out these peppers, and I might go ahead and do some flowers out here. Maybe I'll put go ahead and put some marigolds in this bucket, so that they're ready and established for a few tomato plants. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Actually, let's go get those. These are key lime marigolds that I'm going to put in this bucket. That's where they're going to go. I'll just lay them there. Okay. So... I'm going to keep plugging away at these peppers and then I will come back in a second. All right, y'all. I think I am done with the beds for now. Let's try it now. So over in this bucket, I just did some key lime zinnias. I got them transplanted out. Hopefully they will be okay. I'll put tomatoes in this no, sorry, key lime marigolds, that's what those are. I'll put a couple of tomatoes in this bucket. In this bed, I did some cut and come again zinnias here. I was nervous about separating them, so I just left it as one big plant. They should spread out. I did some Marconi peppers here a carmen pepper here. I only had one. I think I sowed like three or four seeds, but I only had one that did well. And then these two are banana peppers. I did a chamomile right here. Never grown it before, so uh, we'll see how it does. And then I've got shishito peppers. Three of those two not a pinos and that purple eggplant and then the bed that we did at the beginning i have made a mess of my yard i was just throwing the cups everywhere so if you look over here i think what i'm going to do is put these trays in these pods and just close the lids, that way nothing can get to them. But they'll be a little bit protected, a little bit more protected from the wind, and I can leave them out a little bit longer. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do there. And I need to water and feed this green stalk. Some of these sweet peas aren't looking too good, so I need to do that, but 
That might be all the planting I do today. Hi guys, I have cleaned everything up. I think I'm done for the day. We're gonna go uh, have some dinner. So just to recap, bed full of peppers, two eggplants over there in that bucket. I've got some peppers here, one other eggplant and some chamomile right here. The last few peppers and besides the lunchbox peppers and some cut and come again zinnias and then I just sprayed this with water and I made it all soggy but this uh some key lime marigolds so hopefully I didn't just they're just wet <laughs> so that's all I did back here and then I put all the trays put all the trays in these veggie pods for the time being, fertilized them, gave them some water, watered this uh, bouquet dill here. Those are all my cucumbers and squash and all the tomatoes and this one, which some are looking worse for wear, but I'm gonna not throw them out just yet because the tops look good so far. Um, hopefully, this is a little perfume delight sweet pea. He never got very big, so I'm gonna leave him in here for now. And all those tomatoes. So that's what I'm going to. I'm gonna actually close these. So that nothing gets in there. Same with these. We have a couple of resident squirrels in our back porch area up here. They kind of hide in that, live in that little corner up there on the inside. So I don't want to tempt them with my plants. So, and then I watered and fertilized this guy really well. So this um this little dwarf basil is struggling. But I can smell him. He smells really good. I think I just sprayed water on him accidentally. So anywho. As I was editing, I realized I never closed out the video, so I hope you'll have a good day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.